I'm out at the range again today. I uh, brought out a couple of my 38 specials. Just did a video on my Taurus, have a look at that one. I'm going to go over a couple of the same things as I did with the Taurus with the Smith & Wesson. Um, just as a quick comparison, empty. This is my Taurus. This is my little Smith & Wesson uh, 36 uh, from many years ago. So let me just give you a quick close-up look at these guys side by side. Um, one right now is offered by Smith & Wesson, and I think it's um, what is it, Smith & Wesson Classic. Uh, model 36 which is the same as this pistol right here which is a 36 and is actually a ladysmith which I bought for my wife whenever we had an incident at our home whenever we were out in the countryside where somebody was um, looking in the window never did catch the uh, person that was doing that so but we had this in the house ever since then and is a, in a rapid access uh, ready safe for my wife to access if she would happen to need it so anyways that's just a quick um, visual comparison between the two and then I'll just go back over to the uh, Smith & Wesson. Like I said, watch my uh, one in the Taurus if you want to know anything about that in particular. But um, coming back here to the Smith & Wesson, this is a Model 36, like I said, with the, um, a Lady Smith. The only real difference is that it has maybe just slightly smaller grips and they're smooth as opposed to the uh, checkering that they had at that time. And as opposed to the, uh, I believe it's a 442 or 642 that they have nowadays, which is an air weight, this is a steel frame. This runs right around 20 ounces whereas the uh, aluminum framed or alloy framed ones, the uh, more popular ones right now, run about 15, 14 and a half, 15 ounces. So not a big difference, but one of the things I like about this, I'll get in quick, um, for my wife to shoot it, she's not carrying it, and if she would, it would be in her purse. Um, so the weight isn't a huge difference. There's about four or five ounce difference, but when you're shooting it, it makes it a, a bit more comfortable for her because you have a little bit more weight in the pistol. So my idea is that she would probably hopefully practice a little bit more, although she hasn't been to the range in a while, which is one of the reasons I'm out here shooting out her old, or shooting off some of her old ammunition. But um, so it would attenuate the recoil a little bit and weight isn't a great uh, factor for her because generally speaking, it's just a house gun. So anyways, back to the Smith & Wesson, the 36, they are available right now in the classic series in the all steel frame. The basics of the pistol is, is it a five shot pistol. Um, speed loaders for that, you can get a five round speed loader that is like this. You just put it in, you turn the knob, and you're loaded. Unload, you take your hand like this, there's a little button here, you push on that, boom, you're unloaded. The other option for carrying that I used to use a lot for my uh, Taurus Model 85 and also for any Smith & Wesson I might have is a speed strip. The speed strip holds six rounds. I keep five in it because you can see here's the little tab here that helps you actually pull the speed strip off once you put them in the chamber. So you put them in two at a time like that and you pull on it to get it out. Well, I leave a space on this side so that if I pull them out of my pocket and I might be in a little bit of a hurry if I had to do it in a self-defense situation. So I would just pull it in and I've got a little lever there that I can hold on to. So again, you load that guy to, to, and the speed strip, so you what, strip them off, and whoops, and three, and you're loaded and ready to go again. So 38 special, um, you know, it's a, it's equivalent probably to a modern nine millimeter. So I would say that it is a very uh, viable defense alternative. I get my uh, pistol I went there's my little CM9 that I always have with me that has replaced my uh, revolvers at this point. Um, going over some of the holsters again for this one. I have an Uncle Mike's that I got just a little while ago for this type of a pistol, $10 at Walmart, so very inexpensive and fits in just like my Taurus does, easily into the pocket, easy to carry, nice and lightweight, even in a steel frame version. The alloy versions are even a little bit better. Um, this is a uh, DeSantes, um, I think this is a Nemesis, and um, that fits in. That one's a little bit more solid, has a little bit more of a tail on it, and so when you put it in your pocket it's less likely for that back end to turn over if you have bigger pockets than say like these jeans right now. So whenever you're, you're gonna draw, just grab it, pull it, and you're ready to go. There's a cement wall over there, so don't worry anybody for safety. There's nothing I can shoot over there, and it's empty. So anyways, there's a couple carry options, a couple loading options. Um, today I have out Winchester Ranger. Um, let's see, they're law enforcement, 130 grain, Plus P, a little bit of styrofoam in there. I believe these are the same thing as the Winchester PDX uh, ones, which I like carrying in my um, nine millimeters up to the uh, up to the point that I got the HSTs. 
So these here are a great buy right now, around $22 a box. So usually you spend that much for some of the self-defense ammo in a single box of 20. So you get 50 rounds in this. So I gathered up about three boxes of those and decided I'd shoot off all of my other 38 specials that have been hanging around, some of them as long as 15 years. So anyways, let's go and shoot this guy a little bit here. And we'll have a couple final comments. Of course, I used up my speed strips in my um, speed loader. So you do them five at a time. That doesn't take very long either. And let's go see what we can do. Of course, it would be good if I put my reset my, um, my uh, targets. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've reset my targets over there that I can actually shoot at, so I've got five rounds of uh, 38 Special plus P. This is defensive ammo, so this is full power ammo. All right, let's see what we can do. I pulled one of those shots there. Um, Smith & Wesson has a very nice smooth trigger, like the Taurus actually, surprisingly for the Taurus. Um, in that it's such an inexpensive pistol. A um, little bit smaller grips here, so a little harder control and no checkering on here, whereas the Taurus has uh, nice uh, rubber boot grips here. And also you can see your finger comes down a little bit lower. So it does make it a little bit easier to um, shoot. Smith & Wesson, probably if I was going to carry this, I would probably put different boots on there and I would probably do better with it. Um, so I did drop one of the shots there. Um, not bad. I think I'm at about 15 yards here, so definitely within uh, most offensive shooting uh, um, um, parameters there. So anyways, uh, this is this model uh, 36 Smith & Wesson J-Frame is what they used to call it. And it is available now um, from the Classic line. So thank you for watching. A very nice pistol to have uh, to collect, to shoot, and to use for carry. And thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe and out.